Are you looking to integrate your JotForm with DocuSign? Well, let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you need to collect signatures, you can easily do that with our DocuSign widget. So let me show you how. I'm up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna create a brand new form. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use a template, and I am going to use our non-disclosure agreement. So we'll do a quick search for non-disclosure. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this second one right here. And we can go ahead and take a scroll just to see what we're working with. We have the NDA up at the top. Looks like we have a few pages to go through just to read. And then at the very bottom, we're going to have company name, company address, name of the company representative. We have a signature and a date. So for this, we can actually go ahead and get rid of the signature and the date because the DocuSign is going to do that for us. Now, when it comes to adding this widget, there are two ways that we can do this. In the top left-hand corner, we can come over to form element and we can use widgets and search for DocuSign right here, or we can add it as an integration. So up in the top, if we head to settings, integrations, we can see that the DocuSign is already chosen. So either way you go, you're going to get the same thing. Let's go ahead and head over back to build. And then down at the bottom, we'll choose our DocuSign widget and open the widget settings. Then you can see up at the top, we need to authenticate our account. We're going to need a document title. We're going to, it's gonna ask us how we want it to open, if it wants to be a modal or a pop-up and then we can auto submit the form and you'll also want to create a PDF template. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the PDF editor. And now that we have created this PDF template and all we had to do was just click on that link and come over to this section, we can head back over to our original and we now have that PDF template as an option. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this PDF template. Then let's go ahead and authenticate. Then we need to go ahead and give this document a title and since ours is a non-disclosure agreement, I'm just gonna do a quick copy paste of this, perfect. And it looks like everything is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and update our widget. We'll go ahead and preview form and we'll do a quick fill form. Let's head on down to that last page and we have everything filled out. So right down here we have name and email. So let's go ahead and sign with DocuSign and we can go ahead and continue. We'll start and we'll do our required signature right here. Perfect, adopt and sign, finish. And we're taken back over to our drop form to officially complete. So let's go ahead and submit. Perfect, we can go ahead and jump out of preview form and let's head up to the top and let's jump over to our tables. And we see John Smith's information and that he's signed. So let's head over to DocuSign. And we see John Smith's signed document right here. We can even open it and we can head to the bottom and we see John Smith's signature. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create signatures within JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.